it's hard to sleep at night these days. You hear so much about violence around the world, the war in Ukraine and the suffering of people. You kind of wonder what it must be like to be under bombardment and attack and you can't do anything about it. It makes you wonder, yeah, what, what did the people of Iraq feel when they were attacked? Or the people of Syria when, when the, uh, this, the Russians came in and bombed them and, uh, into submission? It's a pretty hard life. There isn't much justice in that kind of thinking. It's all about power and control and who's on top, as you might say. It reminds me of a story in the scriptures where this woman comes to this unjust judge and just demands that he he, he uh, does something which is just and she keeps coming back and asking and, and demanding justice and justice and justice and he finally realizes he says well what the heck you know if I just give this woman what she wants she'll go away and leave me alone and sure enough after a while a long while he meets out justice and she gets her justice and, uh, of course, she goes away. Kind of an interesting tale because it just says that, you know, to be persistent on what is right, I guess even makes evil people at some point do the right thing against their own will. It works. It works. And I think God just kind of tells us, you know, to be persistent and do the things which are just. And remind those who just don't really care that justice really is what makes the world go around the right way, the correct way, where we all kind of get to feel that we belong here and can get the most out of our lives together. So the next time you wonder about, well, is it worth it? I'm going to remind you of this story. Keep at it. It's not that God doesn't want to meet out justice is that to commit our justice, we have to see what justice is and we have to act and make sure it is fulfilled. And then we shall see a much better world. Have a great week.